Dear friends and my family in Christ, the Lord gives people strength. The Lord blesses them with peace. Psalms 29, 11. My name is Darlene Stark, and I've been a member of Hilldale Methodist Church for about a year now. And I'd like to share something with you that is an amazing story of peace and comfort and how I've been blessed with God's gift. In the span of about two years, I lost my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law, my brother, my mother, and my nephew. And I was fine with their passings. I was at peace with their passings, except for my brother. For some reason, I just was upset. And I couldn't understand, why would God take my brother? He was a good father. He was a good grandfather. He was pastor of his church. He worked in the community and supported his community. And he had responsibilities of my family. After my father's passing, he became the head of my family. And all my brothers and sisters and I went to him for advice. He was also a good brother. So I wasn't angry at God. I wasn't upset with God. I just couldn't understand. And I had this feeling inside that it just wasn't right. He was a good man. He was taken. And I just felt like maybe I knew it was God's time, and I knew it was in God's plan, but I had the feeling that it just wasn't right time for him to leave. He should be with us. I missed him. Well, then I had this dream. And I was in my old bedroom in my family home. And I had woken up. And it was time to start repairs on my mother's house. So uh, the next thing, I was in the bathroom. And I was painting the bathroom ceiling. And my mother came in to check on me, see how I was doing. And then my brother came in. Now, this was after my mother had passed away and after my brother had passed away. And I was shocked my, my brother could be there. He could be in the house. He was there. And I wanted to say, how can you be here? Why are you here? But I couldn't say that because my mother was there. And so I, I just didn't say anything. Well, he started talking to my mother, and he told my mother, uh, I have to leave right now. I have a wedding that I have to perform. And after it's over with, if I have time, I will come back and help on the house again. So he started to leave. And I had to talk to him. He couldn't be there. So I followed him out. And before he got to the door, I stopped him. And at this point, I said to him, I looked at him and I said, how can you be here? Why are you here? I was a little upset because I knew he'd passed away. How could he be here? And he looked down at me. And he kind of smiled, and he said, Darling, why do you think I'm here? And with that, I woke up, and I had such a peace come over my whole body. It was like God had given me this peace to understand my brother was all right. He was where he needed to be. The peace is like nothing I had ever felt before. It was like it flowed through me. And I just praised the Lord and thanked him for the peace that he gave me for my brother's passing. I still miss my brother, but I know he's okay. And I'm so happy he's with God, that Jesus is his partner, and that he's there in heaven with them. 
continue in his service. John, John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And with that, I'll leave you. Thank you. <laughs>